coming, but we finally done did it. We are here in Jack Mail. Jack Mail was founded in the 1500s. The name comes from a Taino name, Hakmel. <laughs> Probably saying it wrong. And of course, it changed to what it is right now. It's been really a, a very important spot since the French colonial, since the French were a colony here. And of course, absolutely crucial once it once the revolution was won, and it became part of what we now know as Haiti, right? This place has been really for a, such a long time, actually, an epicenter of the coffee trade and but in recent times it's become more of a genuine oasis of tourism of festivity of, of of really preserving the culture and what makes haiti what it is so we're going to take this episode we're going to go and see a couple of different sites here in the main city right we're going to take time out we're going to show you this city we're going to talk about some of the more historical aspects of the city and ultimately to make sure that you know what to do and where to do it when visiting Jacques Mail Haiti let's go and right now we are at Jacques Mail Town Square aka Place Toussaint Louverture right and in this place this is really the, the, the heart the vibrant so you know you're, you're smack dab in the middle of it when you reach here, right? And this place is really so, it's so cool. Like most days you see guys playing basketball behind me. You, in, in the other area, they'll be playing soccer. And what's so cool, if it's not something just happened, just the local townsfolk just hanging out, chilling, you have local events happening, right? You have concerts that can go down here, right? And this place, that's what's so cool about Jack Mill in general. They understand, you know, when you're coming here, you can just about almost always expect some sort of activity, some sort of event, some sort of happening here. Because they get it. They get that, you know, what makes culture, what makes Haiti, Haiti is truly a sense of vibrancy and a sense of festivity year round. done like this, right? Jack Bell is full of them. So we're in the courtyard here of Hotel Florida, one of the more, uh, the, the, the second courtyard to be quite honest with you. Very preserved, it, it's, uh, ancientness is, is a really great way to phrase it. This hotel's been open since 1888 and concurrently has been, has had different owners and different families and is still operating. And, and in fact, I'm gonna try to get someone who's uh, very responsible, for, you know, uh, who's responsible currently for the hotel to give a few words and really break down the history for us. But, uh, but we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check this place out. And, uh, and, 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 and why you should potentially think about staying here, at least for a night, given it's just pure, I mean, it's literally opening a time portal and going back in time. This entire street, the Rue Commerce, was was owned by two families, the Vitals and the Bucars. So I'll tell you about how the Hotel Florida started. I made a mistake. Uh, the worst mistake anyone can make is to say how much, especially in a place where things are cheap. You want to kill your wife? Really? Uh, yeah. How much? You know, bad question. You know. Don't, don't it. I came here, there was an art field named Selden Rodman, he was at the coffee table volume of Haitian art. He was one of the people, along with uh, 
the Wick Peters, who were primarily responsible for the popularization of Haitian art in the West. Uh, they were responsible for the Church of St. Francais, which was Haiti's Vatican. The, the great painters of Haiti did the ceiling and the walls inside of the church, and, and which was destroyed by the earthquake, incidentally. But Rodman was, was, had an art gallery here. I said, a really nice house. Do you live here year-round? No, only four months would do when I rent the house. Uh, I didn't know where I was going. I was a kind of loose end. And I gave this guy my phone number. Don't had no memory of having done so. Gave him my phone number. Uh, I was on my way, actually, to Africa. And I got a call from a guy. He said, you still want to rent my house? What house? You know, <laughs> in Haiti. Chuck Mellie. I said, I'm selling the house. And he had wanted $100,000 for it. And I made this second mistake. I said, yeah. how much? And $60,000. What do I need that house for? But I'd been here with my kid who was working and he was doing a TV series. You want to pay $30,000 for that house? And, you know, okay. So, it's only thirty thousand dollars. Took me two years to get a permit to see Jewel. You can't just buy a house in Haiti. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Took me two years to get a permit to see Jewel. For the next decade, I still kept on coming to Jacques Mel because I had a house here instead of going to Havana and, and going to Cuba. I said, What am I going to do with the house? So I said, Make a hotel out of it. So that is the hotel. And so, and but the, but the house has been here since 1888. The house has been here since okay. 1888. Okay, okay. And in the meantime, I bought the bar, which was a hotel property, and then there's another property there, and then there's another property mm -hmm. across the still street. Do you, still do you drive in the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, I kept on getting mm -hmm. more invested mm -hmm. in the right. town. Mm -hmm. So in 2000, I made it into a hotel. That was the dining room. If you take a look at the website, every room is named for its original use. Mm. How would you recommend Jacques Mel? Well, Jacques Mel uh, still was the safest town uh, anywhere, not just in Haiti, mm -hmm. just anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, there used to be a lot of voodoo, good, authentic voodoo mm -hmm. in this town. Mm -hmm. uh, Great architecture, and before the goddamn motorcycles, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. uh, now they're not so bad because this is supposed to be a pedestrian street, and I am doing something to try to bring it back. We're going to try and clean the beach to to do something about not having the municipality dump by the river. All those kind of things require work and require the hotel owners to be. United. United working together, trying to get another flight of a nine-seater plane. We're going to try and really do those things. Okay? Mm -hmm. Beach here in Jacques Mel. What makes this so interesting, so cool? What's what's so distinctly Jacquemelian is the mosaic flooring that exists here uh, uh, along the beach. And of course, the beach itself it's within this 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 sort of uh, circular bay, right? Very small but circular bay that really keeps a lot of the nastier waves. And what made Jacques Mel such a popular port for so long, to be quite honest. We're in front of Collins Hotel, a very historic hotel. I highly, I highly recommend if you guys are, are, are trying to stay here, you know, could put Collins Hotel also on your list because of this proximity to the beach and the culture and everything that's happening here, right? So we're gonna take a little bit of walk around here, show you guys what's here. You gotta take full advantage and make sure we don't miss a thing when it comes to showing you what's here in Jack Mill. We're in front of a school here, art and music school called Salle D uh, in Jack Mill. It's supposed to be one of the uh, uh, 
like the pro music programs and, and, and performance programs uh, in the country and especially in Jacobin. And so uh, we, we popped in a little bit. And, and saw some of the performances. I think that's what's so cool about Jacques Mel. The culture, the, the goal of maintaining culture is bar none, the number one in here. So what's happening here is we have a fisherman. They found a school of, I don't know, I guess it's sardines, some really small fish, right? And they, did, tactically, they cornered these fish with a very large net, captured a good amount of them. And so what's happening right now is you have these local, <laughs> local folks who are all just, you know, purchasing from them. They, they're bringing their buckets, and for about, I was told about, they mean sink some good, right? And you have to do the math on, uh, what the local currency uh, exchange rate is per dollar, but what you're seeing is you're seeing these folks just buying, honestly, a must work of food right now, right? So again, we just so happen to come across it. This happens pretty often, honestly. It happens pretty often. This building here is so incredibly well preserved. That's, that's the really cool, awesome thing about Jacques now, is that there's so much well preserved buildings here relative to other places in the country, honestly. Uh, this building used to, be, used to belong to one of the larger families here uh, in Haiti uh, for, for in the early 1900s. Of course, that family, like so many. One of the big issues with Jacques Mel is a lot of the big families here that used to run the coffee. Uh, operation and exporting and, the whole, and really the entire commerce industry they all went away they all uh for different reasons stopped functioning right and, and jack knows it's, it's in a big state where it's at not only because of lack of investment right and lack of vision by government leaders but also because of the of the lost human capital that didn't replenish itself over time one of the things i noticed when i was moving around Jack Mel and checking out the sites were the people and not just the, the people themselves what they were doing so many of them were sitting on benches sitting outside on the street walking around with a pad in hand oftentimes by themselves sometimes with groups studying and I thought that was so incredible because I haven't seen that anywhere else in Port-au-Prince so I thought I'd grab one of the students who I saw studying and ask him a few questions <laughs> Je n'ai pas eu comme si mes parents qui ont une possibilité juste pour les aider. C'est juste ce qui a été fait descendre. Voilà que je suis allé composer pour le 9e, je suis allé à ici. Je me suis demandé pour que vous allez inscrire dans le lycée parce que l'école, le collège est très cher. Voilà, je suis allé inscrire dans le lycée Jamaïques, je suis allé dans le 3e. Et depuis que vous n'avez pas passé, il y a une méthode. Moi-même, je prends engagement, moi-même, le fait que je suis dans le troisième an là, pour me faire tout le monde moi pour me réussir dans le troisième an et pour me traverser jusqu'à ce que je suis en philo. Et là, fini tout, moi j'ai un rêve tout. J'ai l'impression tout, à l'aide des cours qui ont fini l'école, il y a plus d'autres choses qui sont très difficiles pour apprendre. Et là, fini tout. Je vais gagner un maximum tout, connaissance tout, l'esprit à venir nous vivre sous plus de bagailles. C'est dans ça, si le pays, comme si ne pas prend engagement, ça m'a fait que je vais vous montrer tout ça, que je vais vous montrer, mais moi même j'ai un rêve, je connais le côté de la vie et je vais vous faire pour ça. So incredible. And I'm just 
as always at all the architecture that's in the city if you're if you're here make sure to grab some touristic items they're all over Jacques Mail. check out a church some of the cooler well-preserved churches that go back you know hundreds of years is here when you're staying here I stayed at the Manor Adriana you know this hotel super comfortable you know the, the, cust the, the customer service the accommodation uh, is pretty respectable pretty respectable right for Haiti you know uh, they have a pool in the center, right? They have so many rooms out there. Everywhere about being overbooked here. And I'll be honest, the, even if you're not staying, the food, the food is on point. Like, like just to come by, eat on the restaurant. They have a balcony restaurant. Just eating out the restaurant. The food's affordable. It's tasty. They take credit cards, guys, <laughs> right? Uh, so however you want to enjoy. Uh, Jack Mail, you know, I, usually I, I give them a drive at one of the first places to go. And beyond that, just come to the city. There's always something going on. For example, we popped over, we checked out this, this game, a soccer game that was happening uh, amongst locals. That was just was really cool, just to enjoy. Uh, goats were walking around the, the stadium part. Cool things, the floats that I saw uh, around the stadium. And one of the things I gotta make sure I do is to come back during um, Mardi Gras season, because Jacques Mail is one of the places to go, and they always do it, no matter what's happening in the country, uh, they always uh, find a way to do their Mardi Gras and celebrate celebrate their culture, right? Again, you know, there's just, I reckon, I can't say enough about Jacques Mail. Come visit. There's gonna be a lot more episodes of CGMT and Jacques Mail. This is only the beginning. We have at least four, probably five other episodes. Hit that subscribe button. We're only getting started. There's just so much content to show. We couldn't put it in one episode, so we're gonna put them in four. We'll be back at it again, guys.